Welcome to the 2007 Summer Academy for Advancing Deaf and Hard of Hearing in Computing. The Summer Academy for Advancing Deaf and Hard of Hearing in Computing was developed for two reasons. One, to increase the capacity of the students to achieve in computer science and also to give them that excitement about the field. We were introduced to professionals working in computer science and related fields. Twenty years ago, Opportunities like this were not even heard of. People didn't even think of it. You're too young to remember that. And now, because the internet, because of email, it's all changed. So you really are at a, you're living at a great time. So you guys are lucky. It's important that students who are perhaps interested in computer science, is that they must love it. You really have to have a strong foundation in math. It's really quite important. If you have a strong foundation in math, then you can study computer science without a problem at all. I just want to emphasize that when opportunity knocks, open that door. Even if you're not required by your school, take those internship opportunities. It can only help your future. Okay. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure for solving a problem or accomplishing some end, especially by a computer. Especially by a computer. It doesn't say by a computer. So first of all, what is this Java? Okay. Java is a programming language. It's how we speak to the computer, in a sense. So one of the things here, I know you only have the answer, but you should put down how you arrived at that answer. Oh. I am working on Java for homework because it's more um, Complication than animation class, and it's hard. So I'm trying to finish um, with with uh, with Java's homework, so I can work on animation for the weekend. We're not going to be able to help you out with specific problems. We're only going to be able to help you with understanding the material. So you want to search for a method that takes a string and returns a bool if that string is contained in another string. Gosh, it's hard. We experienced Seattle. Uh, I'm going to be your captain this afternoon. I'm Captain Oluya. I'm an Irish boy. But you can call me by my first name. It's Hal. Hal Oluya. Very good. This is not. Here is a behind-the-scenes look at creating the animation. First off, good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Good. You guys ready to fire up that machine? Today in animation, I encourage them to think about the important principles of storytelling and how their story would work. So wait, you have Sleepy waving his hands in the air. Oh, and, and, and mm -hmm. use the head at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Use your life experience. Perhaps something happened to you. We worked on a team to develop a short animation. And that's actually one really cool aspect of animation uh, is how much you can communicate through animation. You know, there's a lot you can show just about it, how a character expresses themselves, how a character moves. Uh, yeah, so that's a lot of fun, and it's really rewarding. If you hold down Alt and left click and move the mouse around, and I right click, that seems to be in and out. 
And so that's kind of one of the interesting things about 3D, is you really don't know exactly what's going to come out until you get the render button. So he's going to help push that over to the, uh, the seesaw. And then the mouse is going to come over here, crank this wheel here, which is going to trigger the ball rolling down this and through these various pieces. And then finally culminating in that. Um, he's doing the second half of the story. I'm working on the first half. He's doing like credit, all the title pages and everything. And right now, um, Andrew, who's also in our group, is working on the more advanced model right now, like the cheese, um, the rocket, everything like that. Actually, it's going to be a piece of cheddar cheese. <laughs> so uh, there's not going to be any holes in it. If we were to add holes to it, it would actually take a long time. What I'm supposed to do is create uh, one of the uh, parts to become a rocket. The mouth did again. They ran out of sheen. One of them out look up, see the moon. You think the moon is made out of sheen. So they go ahead and try to get up there. I'm working on a mouse, but I'm working with the background and the setting right now. So that's what I'm charged with the more visual nature of the story. So I would add different uh, characteristics such as um, flapping ears, uh, the tail, the use of the tail. So I have a, four years of the theater background, so I use that to make it a little bit more visual. So the original ideas were from Adam, and then I would add on to those. Right now I'm working on uh, making uh, the ball uh, fall into the bucket and then uh, roll down this track here. And so it'll follow that zigzag track. So I'm just working on that animation right now.